Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back to It's Dangerous Game Alone. I'm waiting to see how you handle the Rockwells. I'm not gonna punch you again in the face. <laughs> you just blow me up. Shit. So, man, I am thirsty as fuck. Let's get something to drink. Finally. Sheesh. But as but this is a simulation. Does this even count as drinking? Hmm. So let's go get some information on the rock whales. You, you don't belong here. You're not supposed to be here. It's not real. None of it. It needs to end. The suffering must end. Finally, someone who knows what's going on. How do I get out of here? We're not really here. We're not really talking. It's all made up. Make believe. We're sleeping, dreaming. The dream became a nightmare. It has to end. It just has to. But we're not in charge. He is. And he doesn't want us to wake up. Who are you talking about? He calls himself Betty now, but he's still the same. He can put on a new face all he likes, but underneath he's still evil. Evil. Wrong. Bastard thinks because he helped create this place, he's God here. But I know he still uses the fail-safe terminal. I know it. Ooh, what fail-safe? What the hell are you talking about? It's in the abandoned house. He doesn't want us going in there because he's afraid we might find it. It's the only terminal to the outside. The only way to shut the whole thing down. You've got to find it. Hmm. Remember what I told you? What did you s just... Where did you say the failsafe was? The abandoned house. Keeps that one to himself, he does. That's where it is. That's why he doesn't want us in there. Hmm. Hey, Pat. Hello, sweetie. How are you? Can you tell me about what, anything about the Rockwell's marriage? I don't know what sort of thing you'd want to hear about. There was that one time Janet waved a rolling pin at Martha. Oh, but I suppose that's not really something you should concern yourself with. All in the past now. Ooh, interesting. Pretty convincing simulation. What? Oh, sweetie. Maybe you should just run along and play. Fine, Beach. Don't talk to me. Bye bye. Goodbye. Oh, I still made him cry. Ah. Let's see. Newman's residence. New bomb. Nuzzle bomb. Wow, this place looks awesome. It's better it's not it's all in black and white. Well, it is a simulation. So weird, though. It's so weird! So weird! Man, I wonder if this is how the houses looked like before the bombing and the dick and the degradation. De oh, I can't find anything. Oh, look. Whoa, where did my fucking hand go? Why the hell are you <laughs> moving it all the way up top? It must be a bug with uh, Tale of Two Wastelands. Shit. It's like, ooh, now you see it, now you don't. Tranquility Lane, huh? Good day. Hey, Mabel. Well, hi there. Can you tell me about anything about the Rockwell's marriage? Well, they're just so nice, aren't they? It's good the two of them worked everything out. Oh, what do you mean, worked everything out? Oh, I, well... I'm not one to talk, but there was that fight last year. Everyone could hear them arguing. Janet thought there was something going on with Roger and Martha Simpson. Ooh. He eventually convinced her it wasn't true. But I've seen the way Martha looks at him. Janet may believe him, but I sure don't. Hmm. Hey, thanks for the tip. Tip? Oh, I wouldn't call it that. Just something I heard is all. I bet. <laughs> Goodbye. Take care now. They're all Hello. in bliss. Hey, George. Good day to you. Can you tell me anything about the Rockwells' marriage? Their marriage? Why, that's an odd sort of question. They're like anyone else, I suppose. Got their problems, but they work through them. Janet's a good woman. It's a good thing that Roger came to his senses. I bet. All right, man. Goodbye. Take care now. Well, let's see. That lady seems to be in, you know what, abandoned house. Bah. Weird. It's all abandoned, man. 
There's nothing in here. Maybe there's a switch or something. I can't turn my pit boy light on because I don't have a pit boy right now. Garden gnome. Ooh. Oh, I see. I see. It's a puzzle. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, but that's that's the real question. Do I wanna? Yes, I wanna sleep to get well rested. Thank you. Well, not well rested, just rested. Did I get rested? I can't fucking tell. Let's see. Sit chair. So let's see. Nope, so it's... Eh. 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 Sweet corn. Fudge. Damn it. Fudge. Damn it. I got it! Hey, man! You like fucking with people's lives? Terminal access Chinese invasion program. Uh-huh. <laughs> Dr. Braun Untry, Tukan Lagoon. I finally come to the realization that the Tukan Lagoon simulation has run its course. I'm tired of beating the sun. I'm tired of the beating sun and ceaseless pounding of the lagoon's waves upon the shore. I no longer take pleasure in watching Simpson wither away from a scurvy or hearing Nussbaum scream as he's devoured by the Mako sh God, what the fuck, bitch? I am quite simply bored. It is time to reset the simulation once again. I haven't been skiing in ages. Good lord. Ron entry. Slam and Chalet. Yesterday... Dither slipped on the chalice's icy stairs, went airborne, and managed to impale her. Oh! Iron fence. It was spectacular and completely and utterly random. Is there anything more sublime than the bold crimson on fresh fallen snow? This guy is fucking nuts! It was almost enough to make me reconsider a change of scenery, but not quite. Twenty-three years is a long enough vacation from the Swiss Alps. I long for something more domestic. Tranquility Lane. I have surprised myself. I find Tranquility Lane comforting. Although distinctly American, I somehow reminds me of Cronach, the town of my childhood. There's a beauty and irony with this particular simulation as well. The presidents here are naturally at home, naturally safe. When I toy with them, when the suburban illusion is suddenly broken, it's like it's much more set. I do believe we shall remain here in Tranquility Lane for a very long time. A very long time. God, this guy... Access version, yeah. <laughs> Access version control or Chinese pro. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna save it because I really want to check out each of them. So let's see. Just in case I don't fudge it up, let's see. Version control. Display current version control. Display previous version notes. Program wiped authorization. Play current version control, exception granted for pod. Exception is granted for pod 0001, manual override for pods, disabled, remote access allowed, user S. Brown has privileges, updated neural implants to override memory access for individual users, revised code for vault maintenance, robots authorization from S. Brown required before further updates allowed, 
User unknown granted access. All user unknown altered by Esperon. Ooh. You know what? Let's access the Chinese invasion program. Yeah. <laughs> Fail safe program. Dr. Braun in entry. Fail safe. There are days I consider finally putting the pulling the plug, as it were, and putting a permanent end to both the simulation and my life. That is the reason I. That is the reason I requested installation of German Chase's Chinese invasion program. After all, by disabling the safety protocols, I am sure that each subject in Vault 112 will physically die if they're in. Ooh, real world death in assimilation, the perfect failsafe. At least it would have been, if not for my own misjudgment. I know when the simulation first went online that the secondary safeties were those established for all Vault Tech and military personnel would prevent my own real world demise in the event of a failsafe execution. In the end, I would kill the mu I would kill the subjects and save myself. I went out of the way, or so I thought. It's true the failsafe would scare scare the living out of hell out of every resident in Tranquility Lane, and lead to their brutal death. But then, what about me? I have no ability to disable my own safety from what in the simulation, and other avatars I could create would be driven by the simulation's AI routines, not actually living, thinking human subjects. Where's the fun in tormenting a machine? And so the release of the real world subjects is more than they deserve, more than I could bear. They'd be dead and I'd be left here in Tranquility Lane alone and tragically bored for all eternity. I can think of nothing more unacceptable. Oh, failsafe program documentation. Here's a revised code for the military program program. Frankly, I don't expect to. But if you can run this program with the failsafe's also as request of your real world Subsection die if killed in the simulation. Because without saying that, officially I deny your request. Ooh. Ooh. Do I want to kill them though? I mean, the, it sounds like they've been trapped in here for freaking ever. Huh. You know what? Let's initialize it. Proceed with caution. I think they've had enough torture in here. Let's free them. Oh, I did gain karma. Sweet. Exit Tranquility Lane. Oh. Run, bitch. Holy shit. Damn. Shoot them all! Good thing it comes. Oh man! The simulation prevents you from tampering with the body. So I get karma for killing them all off. I guess ending their hell. Oh. Poor guys! Are they just. Spread out, don't let them escape. Oh, that's horrible, man. Genocide, comrade, while we deal with these imperial dogs. I guess it's lucky that they consider they don't consider me a freaking. Hey, look! Activate exit. Do you realize what you've done? You've triggered the failsafe, ruined everything. The subjects will die, and I'll be stuck here in this hell, alone! You ruined everything! Everything! I'm calling the shots now. You? No, I! I am the creator of this world! Feel so lost. So... all alone. I came here for my father. Uh, tell me about the Gek. The Garden of Eden Creation Kit. It was for terraforming, for restoring the world after a nuclear disaster. Unstable technology, and ultimately boring. Why remake the old reality when instead you could create any reality you choose? Tell me exactly who you are, who you really are. Why do you torment me? You know who I am. You know that I am really Dr. Braun, that I created this place. And now I'm trapped here. It's all your fault. You can kill yourself and get out of here, can't you? So... I came here for my father. Now where is he? He's been right here the whole time. 
and you were too dense to figure it out. The dog, you see. Man's best friend. But now you've taken all my friends from me. Haha, <laughs> so my father's okay? I, can, I don't fucking care. Tell me about this place. So I'm free to leave? Isn't it obvious? You've run the failsafe, disrupted everything! I have no power over you. <laughs> There's the door. Go. Alright. Goodbye, man. Run along now. Since you have no more power over me... You can't do that here. And now you have to pay. Bull! Oh, you said I had no power over you! Oh, that's bullshit. I had no power over you! What the hell? You shouldn't have been able to do that. Why couldn't you do that when I ran the failsafe? Oh man, now this is gonna take forever to load. That's the one bad thing about this Trailer 2 Wastelands. If you get killed or anything like that, it just takes forever to load. Ugh. Might as well just skip ahead like two or three two or three minutes or something like that. Ugh. Maybe a full minute, I don't know. I mean, if you think about it, I, I, it makes sense because you're like, like you're loading in freaking two games at once, so it's like, woo. Oh man, that was horrible though. <laughs> I ran the failsafe. Oh, I guess that, I, I don't know why it's called karma. I mean, I guess if you run the failsafe and kill them all, I guess it's like you end their misery. Because it sounded like that guy was being a complete jackass. Shit, though. Oh, he turned my dog into a... <laughs> he turned my dog into a dad. I meant me. He turned my dad into a dog, so that's gonna be interesting. <laughs> Finally got him out of this damn place. I'm surprised that the Chinese people call me comrade. I mean, is it because I'm new and unknown registered? Huh. Weird. Anyway, hopefully this thing freaking ends soon and it gets reloaded. I'm not even paying attention to the screen. I'm just talking on, rambling as I... Stare off at my ceiling, because I have no idea what to talk about. It was so weird, though. It was so weird. What do you think I do at this moment when I found out that you were a crazy son of a bitch? Ugh. Come on. Well, at least I got karma. I made the guy cry, and then I killed him off and ended his misery. Good lord, Matt. If they felt pain, too. So it's like every time they died or anything like that, they felt it. Ugh. That was crazy. Ah, finally, it's back. Find Dad. You know what? It's back. Where did that damn dog go? Hi, dude. Bark. Take a hike, Mutt. Growl. <laughs> Growl. Activate the exit. Sweet. Finally! We're out! Whew. Tranquility Lounger. I'm out. Bit hey, where'd my hat go? I was wearing a hat. Man, he's dead now. You've saved me. I was afraid I'd be trapped in there forever. Oh, it's so good to see you, but what are you doing here? What are you doing here? You could have been killed! Well, I didn't expect Dr. Braun to be alive and insane. I thought I'd just find notes or holotapes. I needed information about Braun and his work on the Gek. Did you get the information you needed? I did indeed. Braun's work, the Gek, was designed to readapt environments for living after a nuclear war. It's not entirely stable. But I'm sure that components of that technology are just what we need. What we've been missing all this time. I need to return to Rivet City. Once Madison knows about the Gek, I can get her to see that it really will work. Ooh, what about me? What am I supposed to do? You need to get back to Rivet City? I can't do this on my own. Madison and Dr. Lee has a team of scientists working at Rivet City. They'll have to help. The facility hasn't been used in years. There'll be enough work for a good number of people, and it will take us a while. The sooner I get to Rivet City, the sooner Madison and I can get to work. What about me? What am I supposed to do? Yes, what about you? Why in fact are you outside the vault at all? 
I don't even want to know how you got out. As much as I appreciate your help, you were supposed to stay there, to make a life for yourself there, not out here. You left me uh, saying goodbye. But what, uh, what was I supposed to do? You were supposed to stay put. You could have had a good life in the vault. Yes, with a crazy but I overseer. It's too late to go back now, isn't it? The overseer would likely have a shot on sight. Well then, you'll just have to come with me to Rivet City. You've certainly proven yourself capable enough. Well, I am your daughter. Dad, I'm not going with you. I have other things to take care of. Really? You're not going to join me? Coming all this way after me, I'd have thought you'd want to help. I have to keep going. I can't stop now. I'm going back to Rivet City. Meet me there if you change your mind. I... It would be good to work with you, honey. Okay. Can we talk for a minute? Of course, honey. What's on your mind? Can't we just go... No. How could you leave me like that? What the hell were you thinking? I wanted you to be safe. I didn't want this for you. A life out here in this godforsaken war zone. I couldn't tell you what I was doing because I didn't want you following me. A plan which clearly was not as successful as I imagined it would be. Is this about mom? Are you trying so hard because of what happened to her? Oh, my child. If only you could have known how much it meant to her. She believed in the work we were doing and was so determined to see it through. She gave up so much for this project. We all did. And I don't want that to have been for nothing. I think I understand. I'm glad we talked. So am I, my love. While this isn't what I had in mind, it's good to have you with me. Good. What exactly is this Project Purity? It started as an idea, really. Remember the Bible passage your mother loves so much? I think. Free, clean water for everyone. What a difference it could make in the lives of everyone here in the Wastes. Over time, that idea took the form of a purifier. Not like the one in the vault, though. This one was gigantic, capable of purifying millions of gallons of water at once. Hmm. We used the old Jefferson Memorial for the location, right on DC's Tidal Basin. Someday soon, I hope you'll see it work. Maybe I will. So what happened to Project Purity? In the year before you were born, things became difficult. There had always been something of a mutant's problem in the city, but it became worse. They attacked more frequently and more aggressively. Support for the project eroded as time went on, when we couldn't produce any significant results. Progress came to a halt. And then you were born. Your mother and I had talked about what to do when that time came, but then I... We lost her, and I had to make a decision. I chose to leave. From what I understand, things happened quickly after that. It became too dangerous for the others to stay, and so the project was abandoned. Dr. Lee and her team left for what became Rivet City, and Project Purity has sat waiting ever since. All right. What's the big deal about water anyway? The vault you grew up in had its own water purification system. Clean water was never a worry. Out here, things are different. Water out here is never clean and almost always irradiated. It's barely able to sustain any kind of normal life. If we can change that, humanity has a real chance at rebuilding, starting over. Ooh. Well, how did Mom really die then? I understand that you have reason to question a good many things I've told you over the years. But your mother... I've never lied to you about what happened. Not once. She died giving birth to you. It was a difficult time. She was so eager to meet you, to make a place for you in the world. If nothing else, please believe that she loved you very much. Okay, Daddy, I will. You know what? I've changed my mind. I'll go with you to Rivet City. That's good to hear. Let's not waste any time. All right. Let's go. I have to go, Dad. Be careful, sweetie. Okay. Hello, ma'am. Why the fuck just run? Well, they're all dead. Man, you run fast, Dad! You're freaking old as hell! 
I can't keep up! Ah! Uh, come on! Come on! Run! And you ran! You're running so fucking fast! And you're running! I don't know why I'm doing this! Couldn't get over. Oh, there you are! Yeah! Sweet! Alright! Oh! Dead mole rat, that's right! Smooth Casey's Garage! Oh, I didn't even see this! I'll take it all and then just keep running with you. I got my own place, Dad. You want to go see it? Come on, go see it with me. You don't have to go to the Project Pier fighting right now, do you? A bit clumsy today, are we? Maybe. You know what? All right, let's save it here. We saved our daddy. Let's get the fudge out. Ah, he's a companion. Whoa. Open inventory. No. Use range. Use range. Sweet. What? Whoa. What? Talk to. What do you need? Alright. Well, let's go. Okay, man. It's great to talk to you. Thank you all so much for watching this episode of It's Dangerous the Game Alone. Don't forget to leave a like if you liked the video and subscribe by clicking my channel icon at the bottom of the screen for more. Until then, I'll catch y'all next time. Bye!